Doris, welcome. It's really great having you today. Now, what do you have to tell us from Central Florida Behavioral Health Network? I know you've got some wonderful messaging about how to keep our young people safe and healthy. Yes, thank you, Ryan, for having me on today. My goodness, can you imagine this? Autumn in Florida. Now, that usually does not mean as much as it does in places where leaves are turning orange, yellow, and gold, falling right. to the ground in nice big piles. But we are just beginning to have a bit of a nip in the air these days. And, you know, that means major holidays are right around the corner with Halloween at the end of the month, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Hanukkah right behind. But to talk about our subject of interest today, this month of October is Youth Substance Use Prevention Month. And it's also Substance Misuse Prevention Month, which is for everybody, including adults. Some other dates to remember are all of October is Health Literacy Month. That's learning out how to be more healthy, you know, watching what you eat, exercise, all the things that you need to be doing. And it's National Bullying Prevention Month. That's bullies. That's people that, you know, beat up on other people in all kinds of ways. And that happens in schools and that even happens in workplaces. So we're talking about bullying prevention during this month. So there's lots of good information out there. October 23rd through the 31st is a very special week in the prevention world. It's called Red Ribbon Week. And a lot of areas will have uh, big activities going on, especially uh, they'll have runs going on and activities that you bring kids out and, fa and families and you can learn about things and you can participate. And like I said, do the runs and get signed up and be healthy. So look at and see if there is a Red Ribbon Week event going on in your location for those days. So parents, we need you to get involved. This is where you come in and this is the focus of our talk today. Our Talk They Hear You campaign is uh, providing parents, caregivers, and other people the opportunity to get informed, be prepared, and take action to prevent underage substance misuse. You absolutely need to have the mobile app on your phone as it can show how to turn everyday situations into opportunities to talk with your kids. And you must also use a tool that is on our website from SAMHSA. It's a 10 minute screen for success tool that you do with your child, or you can have the child do it and send their answers to you. And that way you learn more about where your child is at in terms of health, wellness, and well being. And it will even help you find resources if you need them in your community. There's a new thing at SAMHSA that's um, going on now. It's called a podcast for parents. And the link to that podcast is on our website at www.cfbhn.org. The latest episode is entitled Back to School, Connecting with Your Screen Agers. Because you know, they're always on those little screens. And it's like, do they talk to you or even hear you? Right. So these podcasts are very good uh, for giving you advice and sharing what you can do to uh, connect with those little screen agers. And remind us again about how to start a conversation with your child, just getting that conversation going. Yes, Ryan. Now, there's a there's more detailed handout that you can download on our website, but I'm going to hit these five conversation goals very quickly so you can kind of get them in your brain and be aware of them. Because some, you might think, are very obvious, and you say, oh, I do that, but do you really do it? Number one. Show you disapprove of underage drinking and other drug misuse. Our studies show that most young people say their parents are the leading influencer on whether they decide to drink or use drugs. So if you send a clear, strong message that says, this is not for you and this is not for our family, and I expect you not to do this, that's number one. Okay. Number two should also be obvious, but sometimes it's not. Show you care about your child's health, wellness, and success. They're more likely to listen to you if they think you're on their side and you are really there for being there with them on everything that goes on in their life. And you need to show them why if you use drugs and you drink, this is not going to be this is not going to be good for you. This is not going to help you as you're growing. Number three, you have got to be the best source of information about all of these subjects of anyone. You don't want your child getting information off the internet, on the streets, or from their other friends. 
You have to be the one that says, I know best. So download this information, do the research, source, research and establish yourself as the source of information and say, hey, if I don't know about that, I know where I can get that information and together we will look into it. Number four, show you're paying attention and you will discourage risky behavior. Sometimes kids, they think, hey, you know, mom's not, she's busy, dad's doing this, so is at work or doing uh, those other things. They don't care if I go over here to so-and-so's house or if I stay out a little late or I don't check in. Let them know that, yeah, I'm paying attention. I'm going to know where you're at and what you're doing and if it's where you're supposed to be. And you can be subtle about it. You don't have to be a nag. You don't have to pry. You just have to let them know. I, I know what's, you know, I know what's going on. Number five is probably one of the most important and key things you can do is you have to build your child's skills and strategies for that situation where they get offered that drug or that drink. You have to have planned ahead. How do they say no? How do they feel comfortable? Can they text you and say, mom, I need help. Call me. You want me to come home? And that gives them the instant out. And then they're relieved of the peer pressure. So if you plan that ahead and say, this is what you do, then they know and they don't have to panic. Those are some really great tips. Anything else we should know about before we wrap up? Well, whatever you're planning for the upcoming season, SAMHSA's Talk They Hear You mobile app is what you should have on your phone because I think you will have it right there at your fingertips and you will have all the information you need and you can start those conversations. So download it today if you don't already have it. And remember, we are all in it to win it with you. We want to make sure every child grows up healthy, happy, and successful. So learn what you can do to keep them that way. Go to our website, www.cfbhn.org, and download the Screen for Success tool. All right, Doris, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to come on with me. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Wonderful.